How's it going everyone? It's your boy Dak Donaway, aka the Dig Dug himself. Yours truly back once more with some Monster Hunter Generations action. Duggas, Diggets, Monster Hunters, Monster Hunnies, Monster Hunter Generations, and the Teostra. That's correct. We are getting into Elder Dragons, which means once we knock out these Elder Dragons, we will be moving over onto the Deviants. Hopefully you guys will excuse the long wait in between all these videos and whatnot. Well, the length of which took us to make all these videos, but we're getting it out. You know what I mean? We're, 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 we're doing our best. We're doing our best. Okay, right off the rip, let's get right into the information, because that's the important stuff, right? That's why we're all here today. But the Teostra, like I said, is an Elder Dragon. So, he's one of the fewer monsters who are in the game who are like, Yo, I am so godlike at what I do, that I pose a threat to the entire ecosystem. That's what makes them Elder Dragons or whatever. I mean, for Teostra, it's his fire. And, apparently, he spits hot fire, so hot, in fact, that it's a problem to... The environment. I don't know the lore behind it. I'm not really like too big on like Monster Hunter lore or anything like that. I don't really know too much about it. But apparently he spits that flame and that flame is real hot. Anyway, because he spits that flame, you have to remember one thing. Flames are weak to water and Teostra is no different. He is also an elder dragon and dragons have this innate affinity to be weak against dragon. I mean, that goes across like a lot of different platforms too. I mean, even Pokemon, look Pokemon, dragon type Pokemon are weak against dragon attacks as well it's kind of weird anyway water and dragons your two main um you know things you can use to actually fight teal with uh he is also slightly weak to ice so in a pinch you could also use some ice but if you really want to like do some real damage to him you're probably better off with either water or dragon now we'll say it's honestly a 50 50 toss up on either water or dragon um dragon seems to have better you know damage points on him when the monster himself is enraged uh, water is when he's not so much enraged, but I mean, at, honestly, at the end of the day, it's, it's a 50-50 out of any of those. But if you're going to be fighting this guy, you're probably going to be fighting him for multiple reasons. Like me, I fought him, on, honestly, just for the recording. Other people might be making, you know, armor or whatever. And if you are making that armor, let, let me hit you what, you know, some of his armor does. Now, Teostra is technically available to be fought in low rank, so he does have low rank armor. I'll run over that really quickly. His low rank armor has anti-theft hot-blooded and I forget the third ability is probably not all that important but what what no it's poison resistance excuse me um, now if you're wondering why does it have anti-theft and poison resistance you will see poison resistance in the standard high rank variant of his armor as well now the reason for this is that a lot of people say not just a lot of people say I mean it's sitting right there in your face but Teostra, Kushala Deora and Camellios they kinda are like kinder or like um, Look at Pokemon. Okay, just look at Pokemon. When you start off in Pokemon, you get a starter. It be it may be water, it may be you know fire, maybe grass. And each of these Pokemon can technically do well against each other. It's like a circle, if you will. You know, grass beats water, water beats fire, fire beats grass, that kind of thing. Well, for these Elder Dragons, it necessarily isn't the same way in terms of the elements, but the skills that they actually give will benefit you. I mean, because if you just did the, you know, like straight like elemental stuff, the Teal sure would like clap the hell out of Kush and Camilo's because they're both susceptible to fire. But uh Kush or oh, excuse me, Camilo's is poison, right? And Camilo's has poison and all kind of other stuff. He can steal your items from you. Well, with Teostra armor, if you wear it, you're resistant to poison. You have anti theft. He can't poison you and he can't steal your items. Now, when you fight Camilo's, you make his armor. He'll give you wind resistance, earplugs and like uh, something else w whatever whatever those skills may be they're going to help you fight kush because kush has high wind resistance things like that whereas fighting uh, wearing kush armor you can actually get the ability heat cancel which allows you to not be affected by the flaming aura that is actually covering a covering a uh, teostra when he's enraged like the flame that you see around his body right then it can actually hurt you if you get too close so if you ever get too close to the teostra and you're like i'm actually taking damage i don't know why explain well, whenever the Teostra is enraged, he covers himself with fire, hot fire if you will, and it does, you know, damage to you over time. Granted, this can be subsided with two ways. If you break a Teostra's horns, or if you poison him, he will not be able to actually, um, you know, produce that fire around his body so that you'll be okay if you actually run up across him. Another thing about the poison, if you poison a Kush, it's super, um, what is it, like, when doesn't, 
you know, happen because he's poisoned for whatever reason. We'll talk about that more when we talk about Kush, but let's move back to Tia's track. We're still on the armor, by the way. Now, his high rank armor gives you Challenger 2, Poison Resistance, and Stamina Recovery Up. Pretty solid, in my opinion. I like that Challenger 2 and the Stamina Recovery Up. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any slots in it, but hey, I mean, yo, you can't win them all. But Teal Strax has an EX armor variant as well, and his EX armor variant comes with crit 3, evasion 1, and earplugs. Also, I don't believe it has any armor slots in it as well, so, I mean, you're, you're kind of asked out when it comes to, you know, really jamming in a, a bit additional abilities on your Teal Strax set, unless you have, like, a really good talisman. His weapons, however, his weapons are pretty interesting. There aren't that many blasts monsters in this game anymore. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, those blast everywhere. Everybody got blasts. You get some blasts, you get some blasts, you get some blasts. In this game, there's like two, three, I think. I think two. I honestly think just two. I think it's just, um, I think it's just Tio and Bracky, but whatever. Uh, Bracky, he actually has very, very high blast on all of his weapons. His weapons are like considered the highest blast in the game, like some reaching up to like 50 blasts for no reason. Um, to counteract that, they have low attack. Like, I think the highest tier strength attack I've seen on a weapon was, like, I think 170 or 180. Uh, the sharpness on them has actually been increased a bit, so you're gonna have a really good amount of blue sharpness more often than not. When you sharpness plus two it, you're gonna have you an okay amount of white, but a lot of blues, which you're gonna get out of his weapons. But, um, we're, when it really comes down to a certain weapon to use, or a particular, you know, weapon style to use to actually fight this guy, Honestly, going through whatever you're really, you know, comfortable with. I will say, like, bows and bow guns come at your, come at your own risk. Because Teostra, he's, he's kind of interesting. He has what I like to call the most annoying charge in the world. Because he can, he'll charge at you four or five, like, I think about four times in a row. And he'll do it very quickly. He's really quick, okay? He doesn't, like, make a noise, let you know he's about to do it. He'll just do it. And like he'll like gun you down or run you down rather if you're like in siege mode or if you're just you know concentrating on some fire like say have like a rapid fire shot or whatever with the with the bow gun you might want to like be a little bit wary of it I mean bow guns do well against them yes they do but he also does really well at, with uh, against bow guns as well so look at it as like a, a dragon versus dragon kind of thing if you're gonna use a bow gun um, standard blade master weapons totally get away with it absolutely all day lancing is very 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 good against them not just because I'm saying because I'm a lancer but it actually is very good against them gun lancing also helps as well because Teostra when he is it's funny when Teostra isn't charging and running around he stays still a lot like he stays still for a long time so anybody that benefits from having a monster stay still is going to really benefit from this guy Horns use the hammer and the great sword. He kind of stays still for a long period of time, like I said before, so you can actually get it in. Now let's talk about a couple of things that this monster kind of does. Now everyone knows that Teostra has a supernova, where I think it's like when he's enraged, 110, like it's it's slap, 110 seconds or something like that. After he's enraged, he will jump in the air and explode, boom! And the only way you can block it is if you have guard up. Uh, so if you don't have guard up, you're gonna get hit by it. It used to be the bane of everyone's existence because you, if you were to get caught in this supernova, you would almost immediately cart. They nerfed that. I mean, I got hit with a supernova, and I wasn't at full health, and I walked away. Okay, I walked away. It, it didn't happen in this video. I was actually recording a, a different Teostra fight, but it was a very long video. It was almost as painful as my Silver Athlos when I was like, no, we're redoing it. But I took a slug from it, and I walked off just fine. So they nerfed the Supernova. It doesn't hurt that much. It still hurts a lot, don't get me wrong. It still hurts, but you will sur you can survive a Supernova without, like, clenching your butt cheeks together. Okay, just, just real talk. It, it can be a thing. It can be a thing. Now, another thing that he likes to do... Uh, apart from the supernova, like I said, he has to run you down. He almost ran me down. It, see, had I not had protection, I would have carded right there. You don't know, but I totally, bro, when I say I took all my potions just then to save myself. But he'll run you down. He'll supernova you. He actually has a fire breath, which no other monster in Monster Hunter has. Uh, every other monster, they have like a laser beam of some sort or a fireball. He actually has a fire breath, so that's pretty, pretty interesting. It's a very strong attack as well. He will scatter poison, not poison, excuse me, uh, look, explosive powder, gunpowder, if you will, all around his body in different, in different, like, ranges, you know what I mean? And he'll, like, crunch his, it crunch his teeth, he'll, like, clack his teeth together, I guess, and then he'll cause it to explode. Now, one thing he would do in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which he doesn't do that much uh, now, is that whenever he would, you know, swipe at you with his hand, it would leave an explosive, uh, 
no powder out. And then he would almost immediately clack his teeth together to explode it. Now, that was very predictable. Very, very, very predictable. He doesn't do it as a, I haven't honestly seen him, seen him, I have yet to see him actually do that in this game. But I'm not just gonna like call it out. But it being so predictable, as a Lancer, you could stay right in his face and never move if he had guard two. If he had guard two, you can take all of his stuff and just like disrespect the hell out of him. He doesn't do that much so that way he can like not be as predictable. I'll point that out for you guys. But you know, be wary of where he you know does his his powders. If you see him do like a blue stream in front of him when he's like you know charging up the powder, it just means that the powder is going to explode in front of him. If he does it behind him, it means it's gonna explode behind him. If it's just a huge cone around him, it'll explode around him. If it's this big red cone around him, it'll explode further around him. I mean, it's different layers to the explosives. Just kind of have to like look with your eyes and figure out what's what. Now, one last thing I want to mention is that his horns, if I'm not mistaken, do not break until he's at, I think, 50% health. So, you have to beat him to 50% health in order for his horns to be able to be broken. So, if you're going to be out there, you know, grinding you some horns or whatever, it's going to take you a while. You're probably going to kill him a lot. Or you'll break his horns and almost immediately afterwards he will probably die. That's why. You must first be, like, really close to death for his horns to be broken. But, everyone, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys when it comes to Teostra. Um, not my favorite Elder Dragon. Pretty interesting Elder Dragon, though. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you found the information relatively useful. I tried to make it useful this time around, guys. It's Elder Dragons. People don't know what they're doing. Sometimes they fight Elder Dragons. I mean, sometimes people put down traps thinking you can capture an Elder Dragon with a trap. You cannot. People, let me explain to you right now. You cannot. Can. Not. There isn't a single Elder Dragon who's susceptible to a trap. You can't do it. You can't. If you look at an Elder Dragon quest before you actually start it, it says slay or repel or kill. That's it. You can't capture them. You can't. You have to kill them or they'll just like run away after a set amount of time or whatever. But that's that. Remember, no traps, no tranks, none of that because it won't work. Save them. Also, I didn't want to show up the other video because two people tried to capture uh, the Teostra, and I was like, my god, that, that, like, it wasn't a good look for us. It wasn't a good look for us to actually put down traps. Like, he was sleeping. Okay, Teostra, he was asleep. Guy walked up, put a trap down, and I was like, you idiot, so I corkscrew jabbed it. And as soon as it woke up, he tried hitting it with, like, um, trank bombs, and I was like, son. Anyway, it's been your boy. Take care.